Hello and welcome to Inside the VI. I'm Aaron Schultz, joined also by my co-host, Dean Fisher. Welcome back, Diener. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. On this week's episode, we have Aaron Schultz covering two series, the Calvary River Storm versus the Oceanside Generals, as well as the Nanaimo Buccaneers versus the Comox Valley Glacier Kings. Later on, we'll be joined by our own Chris Ramon's Mickelin, who will be reporting the end of the West Shore Wolves and the Saanich Braves, and Dean Fisher will give us the ending of the, of the Victoria Cougars, rather, and the Cary Park Islanders. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Inside the VI. Welcome to Inside the VI. This is episode 24. We continue our playoff coverage first by recapping the Oceanside Generals and the Campbell River Storm, where the best team in the VIJHL this past season, the Campbell River Storm, moved past the first round by completing the sweep of the Oceanside Generals by taking Game 4 8-0. It was Dane Feeney le leading the way offensively again for the Campbell River Storm. He scored a hat-trick and an assist, and goaltender Riley Willick only needed 15 saves for the shutout. So the Campbell River Storm are moving on to the North Division Finals, and here's our own Dean Fisher to report another sweep in the VIJHL playoffs. Dean? Thanks, Schultz. Like the Storm General Series, the Cougars wrapped this one up quickly by taking Game 4 of a final score of 8-2. Like the games before it, it wasn't even close. The Cougars led 7-1 after two periods of play, out shooting the Islanders 28-6. Nathan Lewison and Devin McKee both had two goals in the victory. So the Cougars are off to the South Division Final to see who's going to be playing the Storm in the North Division Final. We're going to send it back inside to Aaron Schultz. Schultzy? Thanks, Dean. Game 4 would take place at the Nanaimo Ice Center, where home ice was a disadvantage for the Buccaneers as the Glacier Kings beat down the Bucks 8-4 to, to take a 3-1 series lead. Kyle Wade was a star yet again for the Glacier Kings. He had two goals and assists for the evening. And we described the series before as intense, but this one just got nasty. As 50 penalty minutes were handed out in total, 34 of them went to Nanaimo. Game 5 would go back to Comox Valley, where the Glacier Kings would just simply get it done. They defeated the Nanaimo Buccaneers 5-3 to win the series 4-1. It would be ex-Buccaneer Darian Hamilton cursing his former team again with two goals and an assist. So the North Division Final is set in stone finally. The Campbell River Storm will take on the Comox Valley Glacier Kings. Campbell River will have home ice advantage. Now to find out who the Victoria Cougars will play in the South Division Final, here's our own Christopher Munz Micklin. Christopher? Thanks, Aaron. Game 4 was an offensive thriller as the Santis Braves would even the series 2-2, defeating the West Shore Wolves 6-5 in overtime. Initially, the Wolves looked like they had it in the bag while they were leading the Braves 4-0, but it is playoff hockey and anything can happen. The Braves would recover thanks to a three-goal third period. Hunter Atchison would score the game-winning goal. Game 5 would see the third overtime of the series with the West Shore Wolves winning that one 4-3 in overtime. Tyler Smith would score the tie-in goal with just 48 seconds remaining in the third. Game 4 would be the fourth overtime of the series and in a game that was just as exciting as the series itself, James Severs would win the game with his second goal. The West Shore Wolves would take that one 5-4 in overtime, allowing them to take the series 4-2. We now know that the West Shore Wolves will be facing off against the Victoria Cougars. We're going to pass things back to Aaron Schultz and Dean Fisher, who are standing by in the studio now. Gentlemen. Thanks, Christopher. And that concludes this week's episode of Inside the VI. And just to recap, the Campbell River Storm will be playing the Comox Valley Glacier Kings in the North Division Final, and the Victoria Cougars will be playing the West Shore Wolves in the South Division Final. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Inside the VI, for all the latest news involving the VIJHL. And keep tuned in to Inside the VI as we continue our coverage of the VIJHL playoffs. Thank you for tuning in, and have yourselves a wonderful week.